What's going on people? Welcome to another video. Now this is week three and I'm hitting Grand Rapids, Detroit, and Chicago. I've never been to either of those cities, so I can't wait. It's gonna be crazy. The shows, like the energy right now, is just crazy getting so many messages from you guys. Now, taking all your feedback into account, I figured I would show you guys how I make my DJ sets, how I prepare for them, and yeah, let's just jump into the computer. Let me show you guys. Bam, so here we are in the computer, and as you see, my software of choice is Servato DJ Pro. Now, why is that? Because I used to DJ Shivato, I've been a club DJ for like 10 years before my artist career took off. Um, and yeah, basically I prep all my sets in Shivato. And then actually on this tour, it's the first time that I've DJed with USBs, with record box, um, in like seven years or something. So it's completely new to me, but it's just for the ease of use because setting up a laptop at each show can be a bit difficult. This is the brand new M1 Max. And honestly, I would be a little sad if something was to happen with this laptop. Now, anyway, as you see, we are in the playlist called USA 40 Minutes V2. So this is my 40 minute set for the tour that I basically prep in Servato. So I can see all the tempo over here. I can see the key of the song used like the Camelot scale. So I tailor this set to each venue and try to throw in some local music as well. Try to do stuff like that to get the crowd going a little bit. Um, and as you see, we have intros, we have King is Back. Um, then we have a lot, a lot, a lot of mashups. Here's an example. This is a UK accent, which is a super old track of mine um, that drops into the Blood remix I did of cloud so i edit an intro so it's easily to mix and then it goes to drop into the blow remix so The reason why I prepare my set so meticulously is because transitions, for example, like this one, it's almost impossible to do live. Like taking the track like this and going from 100 BPM to 150 and mixing it in with another track that also needs like tempo adjustments, it's quite close to impossible. So I do prepare my transitions. So this instance, we're going from 100 BPM to 150, as you see right here. Cause that ass crazy, I might as well just slide on over like Do you want it like this or like that? Just tell me where it's at. Bring that up, bring it back. You gotta tell me where it's at. Do you want it like this or like that? Do you want it like this or like that? Do you want it like this or like that? Yeah, so we're going from 100 to 150. And with these transitions, I always do them in logic. Um, here is an example of a mix where I'm going from bumping to a young jock acapella to a chi drop. Um, yeah. This was obviously for ATL. Me be okay. in the trail, it's going down. Me be in the mall, it's going down. And then it drops into the chi track called Spit That. One, two, three, four. So that's basically how I do my transitions, my sets, my whole layout. Um, and then I adjust after each venue or show just to see what the energy was like and what worked and what didn't work. Once I prepare my set here in Servato, I go into Recordbox, the software by Pioneer, and basically just set up like cue points and auto cues and stuff like that. So it's mixable on just USBs. And on this tour, I've actually only played USBs so far, um, but we'll see if I switch to Serato because that's where I'm comfortable. The thing about Serato I like so much is that you can like scratch transition stuff. And that's not the same feeling you get when you're playing USBs. Um, I am an old school DJ, so I do love to scratch my stuff in. Also trying the Rox energy drink. I didn't even know he did that. It's called Zoa. I've been trying all the energy drinks over here. Loki, I want to do a segment where I just like taste American food, but it might be too weird. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you be down to just see me raid food? I don't know. Fabian Taste America. This is awful. 
This was the only energy drink I could find that had less than 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot. I feel like all the energy drinks over here like super potent. This is awful. Two out of 10. Would drink, but never again. Hold up. Let, let me hit the gym real quick. Yo, what's going on people? We back at the gym. Now, I'm gonna take you through a leg day today. I had a herniated disc injury a year ago that's flared up again on this tour from sitting down so much and playing shows. So you will see me struggle on the squat. You will see me not deadlift because I can't do that anymore after the injury. And it really, really sucks. These are some of the worst workouts I've had in years, but um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm working a lot on my posterior chain, as you see here, glutes, hamstrings, glute medius, all that stuff. Here you see me doing some Bulgarian split squats on this weird bench thing. A lot of calf stuff, a lot of tibialis raises as well because, well, I also had a knee injury. But yeah, it really is a struggle. I used to be able to deadlift and squat at massive amounts of weight and now I'm just stuck with the sled pushing and pulling. That's the only heavy thing I can do. Just arrived here in the backstage got my stuff all over the place i got like an hour to do sound check we just checked out the venue out there member are uh, doing sound checks right now and essentially i'm just gonna get changed here I usually have like an hour or so um get changed go to sound check and then i have an hour to go and see the city before i head back to this venue and play the show itself so that's usually how it goes have like an hour to do a sound check get changed into my playing performing clothes and um, yeah, I haven't gone to the hotel yet because my flight got delayed. So I'm not going to be able to go to the hotel until after the show tonight. Super so for the show tonight. Let's see how it goes. Today was one of those days where I went straight from the airport to the venue to sound check. Went out to grab a quick dinner, went, came back here, didn't have time to check in at my hotel. And now it's past midnight and I've just been on the run the entire day. I haven't eaten a lot. I honestly am going to lose a lot of weight on this tour, which I'm trying not to do. So that is a struggle for me, to be honest. Basically, I'm going to my hotel now to check in, sleep a few hours, and then tomorrow morning it's off to Detroit well hopefully have a little more time to actually see the cities that I'm in because I've never been
three standing here on the Brooklyn Bridge with the girls. Hi. This weekend was filled with flight delays. I didn't have any time in any of the cities. Just basically went from venue to hotel to airport and got no time to see any of the cities that I visited. But Naya flew in from Mexico on Saturday in Chicago. Surprise visit. This will be the last time you will see this wonderful woman in the vlog. You want to say bye? Do you have anything to say to all the... <laughs> Hi vloggers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for week three. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh. <laughs> Baby, I'm a son on the beat.